What is going on, Minecraft Java Edition players that play Minecraft Java Edition on their Android phone? Today, we're going to set up Fabric Mods with Amethyst. If you don't know how to install Amethyst, well, just install it, log into your Microsoft account, and you'll be on your merry way. Or you can become a Patreon member and you can watch my video guide on how to install and set up Amethyst. The reason why is because I don't want another wrongful strike on my channel for showing people how to play Minecraft Java Edition on their Android phone using a launcher that is legal, by the way. But that's just for another story. So let's actually jump in and learn how to install Fabric Mods. The very first thing you're going to do is navigate to the top right hand side, click on the settings icon, go to video and renderer, go to renderer, change it to mobile glues. Now go down to where it says extra renderer settings, and then you're going to go down to max GLS SL cache size. Click on that. Change this number to 128. You never need to use uh, two gigabytes of GLS cache size. That is ridiculous. So change it to 128, click OK, or 2 megabytes, sorry, or 2,000 megabytes. Yeah, I don't know why they enable that by default. It doesn't make any sense. Use angle driver. Well, we're going to turn that off. Now, some devices benefit from this, but I'm just going to turn it off because my Snapdragon device does not need it. I'm also going to check off these two boxes right here and click back. Now I'm going to navigate down to where it says enable sustained performance. Leave that checked. Turn these ones off. And now we're good to go. Now, depending on your device, you can change your resolution scaler, but that's for the installation video. So I'm going to change that back to 90%. The next thing you're going to do is click back, click back again. And now we're going to click on open game directory. Click on your file manager for open game directory, and you should be able to see this. This is the shared storage access, okay, or scope storage access. It's basically called shared storage. It basically allows you to navigate through your files without using a third-party tool. Do not use any third-party file managers for this part, okay? If you did, then I'm not helping you. Click on the amethyst. Click on the three dots. Make sure you select show hidden files, okay? Now, the next thing you're going to do, click on three dots, click on new folder, and you're going to create a folder in here called custom underscore instances. And that's because this is where all of our custom instances are going to go for our mod packs. Now, this is basically going to be created if you've installed any mod packs, but I'm just showing you this because if you don't have this folder, create it. Create the folder. It's not very hard to understand. Create the custom instances folder. Do you understand that now? Create that folder. Now, inside of this folder, and the reason why I emphasize that is because people are like, oh, I don't have the custom instances folder. Well, I've emphasized the fact that you need to create the folder multiple times in the past. Create a new folder in here called Fabric Mods, and I'm going to choose 1.2, 1.6 for today, okay? Click Done. That's it. Now, go back, go back, go back. The next thing you're going to do is click on this drop down, click on create new profile, go down to where it says fabric profile and select it for 1.2, 1.6. That's all I'm going to do for today. Click install, click back, click on that fabric profile, click on the pencil icon, go all the way down to where it says custom path, which is right here. Click select, go down to your custom instances folder, click on that fabric mods 1.2, 1.6 folder, click select this folder. Now you're going to click save. Now you're going to click play. This is going to allow us to install all the necessary folders that we need for the fabric mods to be able to be placed in those folders very easily once we get to the next step. Very, very important, okay? And this is the most important part of the entire guide. The next thing you're going to do is click on quick game. Now you're going to navigate to Modrinth. This is the fancy website that holds all of our mods. So Modrinth.com, all the links are in the description below, people. If you don't listen to that part, then I'm sorry. I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to answer your questions twice. That's not really what I'm here for. I'm here to guide you on how to do this, okay? This isn't me giving you a one-on-one -on -one tutor. This isn't me showing you how to do things word for word. This is me guiding you to learn how to do this. If you don't know how to do something or maybe something broke, then sorry, maybe check out the playlist. I don't have time to help everybody. Now click on discover content, click on mods, click on fabric API. Now going back on the don't have time thing, well, you know, I don't have time because YouTube still isn't my full-time job. Maybe someday I'll make it my full-time job. If you guys actually watch all my videos and I actually start earning some income off of this, then I can make it my full-time job. But I don't have time to one-on-one -on -one help everybody. So I try to answer everything in the videos. Very important is that we download the Fabric API. Click on the game version, go down to 1.2, 1.6, click download, and there we go. 
That is very important to install the Fabric API because you need that for most of these mods to work, including the next one we're going to download. The next one we're going to download is the mod menu. Okay, go to mod menu and download that one for the correct version. Make sure you download it for Fabric, click on download, and then go back to discover content. Now, the next thing you could download is some other mods here, some fun ones. The one that I really like to download is the dynamic lights. There's a whole bunch of mods in here that you could download. You can see a whole bunch here. You know, these are all the mods that you could download. That's all I'm going to say could, but it's up to you what you download and what you need. Okay. Some mods work for certain versions and some don't, but I'm going to let you know that make sure that you select the right mods for the right versions. So dynamic lights is what I'm going to download next. You can search for it just like so. And as you can see here, there is dynamic lights. I like this one, which is Lambient Dynamic Lights. And all you need is the Fabric API for that one to work. Make sure that you have a really good internet connection as well here, people. If you have a bad internet connection, so things might not load properly. Make sure you select the right version again and navigate back into Amethyst. Great job. You downloaded all your mods. You're ready to go. Click on Open Game Directory, click on your File Manager, click on the three lines, go down to your device name, go all the way down to Downloads, click on the three dots, sort by Modified Newest first, long press on those three mods that we just downloaded, the jar files, three dots, copy two, three lines, go back to Amethyst, go to Custom Instances, Fabric, and Mods, and click Copy. Okay, that's it. Very, very easy, very important that you pay attention to everything that I just showed you here today because it works for me. If it doesn't work for you, once again, that's because you didn't pay attention, you didn't listen to everything I said, and you didn't listen to the fact that you need to do this a specific way for it to actually work. And as you can see at the main menu, mods menu showing, my dynamic lights are showing, everything's good to go, I can go into a world and enjoy playing Minecraft Java Edition. It has nothing to do with my phone, my phone is a Red Magic 10 Pro, I've tested this on a Snapdragon 865 device, it's all the same stuff. Now, it does matter what phone you have for some mods. Some mods won't do good because your device is a poop, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Your device is a poop and that's it, or a potato, or whatever you want to call it. Now, again, Java Minecraft on your Android is something that is progressing and getting better, and you will probably not have a good time if you have a low-spec device. That's all I'm going to say here today, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell check out the comments maybe some people in the comments section will help you out and check out the playlist because i have a whole playlist that is going to be for amethyst which is the new minecraft launcher for android and it only allows you to play it if you own a copy of minecraft java edition for pc even though you don't need to own a pc yeah pretty straightforward right you can buy Minecraft Java Edition on Minecraft.net, go buy it there, or you can get some sales sometimes on G2A keys. Have a nice day, see you next time, and as always, bye! -bye!